purpose of the C programming language? First of all, one for coming here for the C programming, the, we have to solve any problem here. So, what is the problem? Problem is like this, which is, it cannot be defined at a time all the time. So, you always define the problem by English language like sentence, and then you have to find the solution. The first thing you have to find is the solution where you run it, where you get it, whether it will run in web, whether it will run on your desktop computer or a supercomputer or something. So, it depends hardware and software infrastructure. See, if it's a web app, then you might consider Python and Java. If it is a standalone app, then definitely C is a very good choice, it's the fastest. So, before cho jumping to the software and hardware, the main part is algorithm. So, which way the algorithm? Algorithm is, algorithm is nothing but a series of tasks, and you have to start it and you have to finish it. You input, your algorithm has input, but remember, not every problem has an algorithm. There are 99 percent of most of the problem doesn't have any algorithm. So what we have to do? We go for nearest approximation. We go for nearest approximated algorithm to do this, and then whenever you choose algorithm, that it will dictate the problem dictates how to put your data. So if you put your data right now in an array, maybe later on in a matrix, maybe in graph. So it depends on the data structure. So algorithm and data structure are the two main points and that may define your language. See if your C language doesn't give much good support of data structure, like C1 is your array is a static, that means you cannot your array cannot have a runtime which cannot increase its values, then you might have to choose for Java and Python, these are the other languages or maybe C. So it depends on a lot of these conditions. Anyway. Now we start from algorithm, uh, then algorithm and data structure will dictate you your infrastructure, software and hardware, which say in case our lab case, our PC running on Linux version and your C is the choice. Now we try to write a program, this is a simple program, first take compiler directives, we call hash include anything, it is not a language, hash include is compiler directives, standard or this is a compiler directive. Then we call int main. We always try to put int in front of main. In some of the older books, you get void main. Void main is sometimes gives you a problem because whenever the program made any error, you cannot get it out. So always make it a practice. And why you are doing it? Int means you want to expect something zero is coming. Whenever it is everything is good. If anything is not good, you can mark it differently. Return one, two, three. One of the main disadvantage of C is error handling very weak. In Python and Java, the error handling you cannot have to be automatically the which error is automatically returned. But C you have to mark it by one, two, three, four, like this. It is the same. So that is the reason zero means that everything is good. Then uh, that we have understood why in then open in braces, close in braces, print is a function call, hello world, and hello world will be printed. This is the your source program file, which will be always by .c. Then you have to, first is compile it, that is object file, then you have to link it, then it will be your executable file. So in all process, if you press GCC, you give the comment GCC dollar, GCC file, they will automatically loading and linking at, at once is done and file name is a.out. You can make it a different file name by minus o, by different file. That is option. It can be done. Now you just run. Remember, you have to run the program by dot forward slash a dot out. Then the program will run at CPU. It is here and you get it a display. Hello world in the display. Okay. This is your CPU. This is your main memory. A dot out your program. Remember, your program is here. First one dot C do not come to the memory. It will go save in your hard disk. It will not come in the memory. Actually, a dot out will be read only file. A dot out will be ported to in your memory, and it will start from the first line of a dot out. And when the program is running, we don't call it a program. We call it a process or task. So the process will task, and it will end soon after print a hello, and the hello one will be there. So one thing I must mention that your source program will never be in memory. 
it will be in your secondary memory. That is your hard disk. Okay. So, thank you.